So hello, Paul. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, if yeah, you thank just, you. Yeah, thanks for being here. If you could uh, just introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about where you work and if um, you've been associated with the CESU or LTER networks in the past. Okay, yeah, I'm Paul Julian. I'm the, bio, the staff bio, biogeochemist with the Everglades Foundation. And in the past, I, I was affiliated or I've collaborated with uh, the FCE LTR for um, several years. I'm not even going to attempt to figure out that how long. <laughs> awesome. And so um, I wanted to talk to you today about uh, the day in the life, the typical day in the life that you have at the Everglades Foundation. So you could, so could you tell us a little bit about um, what your day to day activities are like? Yeah, sure. So day to day is very different depending on lots of different things, um, which is, I guess, a, a good thing. It's it's stimulating for sure. Um, but there's a little there's some constants in there, um, and it and it kind of ebbs and flows with the throughout the year because the what what we do at the foundation, at least what I do and our science team does, is we provide support to our policy and advocacy team as as well as the education team. So. As you can imagine, uh, when when uh, the legislator is in session, we get a lot of random questions that we have to help our policy team with. Um, also, if there's ever um, you know numerous planning projects for Everglades restoration going on, or even if there's just one, um, we're involved with those and at various different levels from being part of the well attending this the different meetings that are associated with those as well as providing feedback for uh, agency staff and others to to kind of move things along a little bit better that's awesome it sounds like you have a lot of diversity in your day to day lots of diversity yeah, and and one of the constants is that we're we're constantly doing science one way or another either directly you know through writing and doing statistical analysis or something like that but or working with collaborators to move the science forward too so there's it's it is varied for sure <laughs> never dull moment that's awesome so how much of your job is in the office versus like outside of the office in the field so younger me would be very displeased right now, but uh, uh, ninety nine point nine percent of my time is spent in the office. Most of that, you know, during meetings or doing computer work and just in general. Uh, there are chances for us to get out. Usually, um, we do airboat tours or field trips, either for different organizations or even with within our organization. And so that means we can at any given time be on an airboat, uh, a boat boat, you know, out in the estuary, for instance, or, you know, trudging around uh, Big Cypress or Everglades, showing the sites, kind of showing the science on the ground to people, um, which is an awesome, that's a really exciting part too. That's awesome. I love getting out there in the field too. It, it's, it's a magical place. You got to experience it. Yes, for sure. And so my last question that we're asking all of the panelists is just when you're reflecting on um, a typical day working for the Everglades Foundation, what is one piece of advice that you would have given yourself from the beginning of your career journey? It's a good question. And I think um, being the person that I am, my if I could tell my younger self something would be uh, patience, obviously, is a big, big virtue that you need in this game, not only just from uh well and determination too i mean i i am pretty hard-headed so um there's i have that for me um patience in that there's there's a slew of meetings and most of the time you have to say the same thing multiple times because you're talking either to different groups or as the stuff moves along you kind of have to keep reminding people of certain things um, and so you have to have a little bit of patience and grace in the way you communicate with folks um all the way from, you know, management level, policy management, all the way down to the folks collecting the data, because not everybody has the same level of knowledge um, and same experience that you have or the person next to you has. Um, and so there's there's that aspect of patience that <laughs> sometimes I get a little frustrated, but, you know, that's that's everybody. Um, and, and being measured in the way you respond, obviously, is a big deal, too, um, because to get you got to have a give and take relationship with pretty much everything. You can't just say, this is my way or the highway. 
nothing gets done that way. You got to be able to listen as well as be patient and understand what's going on too. So it's kind of all, you know, it's, there's a theme there, I think of, of understanding the person that's across the table as well as next to you. Yeah, that's such great advice. Thank you so much.